Hello everyone, Karim here from Oslo, Norway and nice to see you again about the long, long pose. I'm sorry for being away for a couple of weeks. I had health issues with my back and injury in the spine, but I'm now back in my feet again. I'm trying to cope up with what's happening in the market. I was of course reading a lot while I was away, but still I have a lot to, to go through. And when I came back today to my uh, investors call center, so I tried to, to see how is the market uh, going and it it was like coming back to a bloodbath. It's really still very negative in the market and this is why I wanted to make this video tonight to, to tell everyone how the situation is and to give an update on the market from where we see it. And this video is made especially for the advisors of ICOs so I call it and my advice to the advisors and I know that it will make some people angry but please understand also that uh, we are all uh, in the same boat and if we uh, just overload it we are going to sink all together so there is no winners when the market collapses like we are seeing right now we have to be wise all of us and to do the right steps or things will be very hard some ICOs are doing very well, but if, if the market was better, they would do much, much better. So it's my, my, my talk tonight is not a public talk for everyone. It's not a generic message. It's really very specific to those who struggle right now. And listen carefully because I hope I, I can afford to explain to you what's happening right now. So in the couple of months that has, has, has gone now, we see a decline in the ICO investment market and we see that only the winner concepts are able to survive while the weaker and the new concepts that just de de depend on a white paper or an MVP, they struggle much more to raise any funds. The funds are very uh, deep down in the pockets of the investors. We are not able to bring the money up as, uh, as easy as it was before. No ICOs is finishing in a few days or a few hours as it was earlier this year or uh, uh, late last year in 2017. However, the amount of money raised in 2018 is still much larger than 2017, but this is also due to the, 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 uh, the total amount of ICOs released is much, much larger. So it seems from, from outside that the, mo the money is divided between so many ICOs now, which makes every ICO sitting there with little money at the end. Anyhow, my advice right now, I will start with it, then we discuss why. If your ICO is new, is planned, it, it's, not, it's not finished yet, you don't have a white paper or you just have a, a set of documents but you didn't release it, release it, release it yet, please hold on, hold your horses back a little bit. Don't release right now, take a pause. Enhance your documents, enhance your, your uh, set of, of, of tools, build, keep building your, your, your network, don't rush to the market, the market is already full loaded with ICOs right now and everyone is screaming, everyone is struggling. So don't come with new ICOs right now. And we at, at Mirac, we don't accept new projects right now. If the project is released and ongoing, this is another story. There is no way back, of course. But if it's a new idea, wait a little bit with it. Don't rush. There is no rush. There will be a better market. I am confident of it. And all the agents in our company, they are confident that there is better times to come. But right now it's tough and it doesn't need to be tougher right now. It doesn't matter whose project is our projects also we are holding them back we don't release any new projects we don't uh, participate in new projects with new clients we advise everyone hold on a little bit take a pause take a breath and get get better ready for the market when the market bounces back if your project is ongoing then try to extend your time there is no reason why you should end it fast why you should uh, uh, rush because money is slow right now there is no funds coming and i'm talking about everybody not only us 
at Mirac, maybe we are doing better than the average, but we are doing a little bit more than zero, if I can describe it in a kind way. It's really bloody times. So keep keep uh, extending your your uh, timelines, the roadmap. It, it's made there to be extended. There is no one who will misunderstand why you extend it. Of course, everyone see it. Also, the, the investors understand it. The crowd funders understanding. The token buyers understand it. Everyone in the market will understand, and no, believe me, no competitor will just laugh at you and say, oh, "You, you, you, you fail." Everyone in the same boat and, and and suffers from the same symptoms. So extend your deadlines if you can, and if you cannot, just to talk with us, and we will help you to how to to do the right strategy to do it. It's very much much the solution right now if you are ongoing and you see yourself running fast. To a deadline coming in the ne next weeks or months and you see that your results are not satisfying it will happen that you maybe will fail if you don't uh, do something with it the third category are the, the the icos that just ending right now or have ended and they they are not happy with their with their results move the deadline back if you can do it even if you have to rewrite a smart contract the smart contract is not a bible it's just a just a promise or a contract between you and your investors if you discuss it with your investor then absolutely no problem that everyone agrees on what is the best for the the, the group don't be selfish or don't be a coward don't be uh, uh, don't hesitate. This, these are not the times to hesitate. Smart contracts can be re rewritten. Even the tokens can be reminted. Don't worry, you are still in the earlier. The whole ICO uh, phase, it's anyhow, it's a fundraising phase. It's nothing else. You are in a fundraising phase. And if the main goal of your, your project is not happening, then you have to restructure the project. There is something wrong, you have to restructure. Restructure means here, uh, think of the realistic numbers. If your uh, previous hard cap was too high, reduce it. Talk with the people, reduce the total supply of tokens, to reduce the value of the token, reduce the, 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 the amount of money needed to do the, several, several, the various stages in your ICO. The, it's a good time for revision, don't worry, and do it with, together with your investors and your token holders. If you have sold some tokens, talk to, to your little community and discuss it with them. You will find that people are understanding and people will, will respect you when you come to them and do that. And instead of being uh, stamped as failure or the worst case a scam, don't, don't put yourself into this situation. Um, if you are a client of Mirac, I b believe me, we don't have a problem ju just to, to, if you feel like we are, uh, we are in the way of your success of your ICO, we can withdraw if you feel this is the, the best thing for you. We are not holding people against their will. And I, I think also most of the advisors and the agents in the market will think the same. Uh, the, the ICO itself is a very dem democratic process for voting about the success or the feasibility of your concept, your project, not the agency or not the advisor. It's about you, your team, your concept, your the total uh, feasibility of your project. And if people vote that this is not worth putting money right now, then you have to understand what can I do to improve this vote? It's not the end of the world. You, you still can, can do things to, to improve. Maybe the landing page is not appealing enough. Maybe the marketing activities was, were not d done properly. Properly, Maybe you need more, more fundraising uh, uh, focus or changing of the, the way it's done. There can be no, no one is perfect. Everyone can do mistakes. And also we, we, we admit that we can do a lot of mistakes. And my mistake right now in the, the, in the past weeks that I was severely sick and I really couldn't put the energy I needed to put. But I, I see the market. The market is, is literally dead. 
So there is lots, lots of things to do, waiting for the market to bounce back. Don't, don't just throw the towel and, and admit failure or defeat right now. You can do things. This is my message to you as an ICO founder or an advisor. Think of all the potential areas that you can bring more energy to your ICO. Maybe you can find also different advisors. Maybe you can find extra people who can help you more, put more marketing, marketing budget. Try to change some something. Some something is missing and putting you behind in the in the fundraising priorities. But don't panic because it's happening to almost everyone. So it's not like you alone don't get the money and the others are making huge success. I look around and I contact most of the people in this landscape and I don't see any big success right now. There is no funds coming in for anybody that it should be in this time of the year. We are already in October, but it's not happening. So keep all the op op optimism in your in your in your soul and see what 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 better can be done. Just just to put a lot of thinking, a lot of energy, and consult the right people. It's needed right now. This is what I wanted to say tonight, and I hope that everyone can think of it. And also, I, I, I welcome any comments, any discussion. Just to contact me on LinkedIn, on Telegram. I'll be happy to to answer any questions or to participate in discussions. Have a wonderful night, everyone.